In the year 2147, the world was a bleak and tightly controlled place. Citizens of the residential zone were assigned professions at the age of 18, and they were expected to fulfill those roles for the rest of their lives. Amalinx and Janison, both 22 years old, had grown weary of their predetermined paths. Amalinx had been assigned the role of a data analyst, scrutinizing endless streams of information in a dimly lit room. She yearned for a life with color, not just the monotonous black and white screens that surrounded her. Janison was a technician, repairing the same machines day in and day out. His hands were skilled, but his heart longed for something more than the mechanical monotony of his job. Late one night after their respective shifts had ended, they met in secret beneath the pale glow of the moon. Their whispered conversations had become an oasis of freedom amidst the confines of their society. Amalinx, I can't take it anymore, Janison confessed, his eyes filled with frustration. Every day it's the same. I want to be more than just a technician. Amalinx nodded in agreement, her voice soft but resolute. I feel the same way, Janison. We can't keep living like this, allowing the society to dictate our lives. They hatched a daring plan, a plan to escape the clutches of the residential zone, where conformity was the only currency. They knew that it was a perilous journey fraught with danger, but the allure of freedom was too strong to resist. Over the course of several weeks, Amalinx and Janison meticulously prepared for their escape. They stole supplies, maps, and ration cards, and they memorized the patrol schedules of the perimeter guards. They knew that one false move could mean capture or worse. The night of their escape arrived, and they crept through the darkness toward the perimeter fence. The razor wire gleamed ominously in the moonlight, but determination burned in their hearts. With nimble fingers they cut through the fence, their hearts pounding with every snip. On the other side, they stepped into the unknown, a vast wasteland stretching as far as the eye could see. The world outside the residential zone was a harsh and unforgiving place, but it was also a canvas upon which they could paint their own destiny. They traveled for days, scavenging for food and water, and seeking shelter in the ruins of a world that had once been. The harsh realities of survival tested their resolve, but their spirits remained unbroken. One evening, while resting in the hollowed-out shell of an abandoned building, Emma Lynx discovered a tattered journal hidden beneath a pile of debris. Its pages were filled with the writings of someone who had defied societal norms and explored the world beyond the residential zone. As she read the journal's tales of adventure and discovery, she felt a flicker of hope ignite within her. It was a reminder that others had defied the odds and forged their own paths. Inspired by the journal's words, Amalinx and Janison pressed on, determined to find a place where they could be free to choose their own destinies. They ventured deeper into the wasteland, guided by the belief that there was more to life than the roles assigned by the society. Weeks turned into months as they traversed the unforgiving terrain, and their bond grew stronger with each passing day. Together they faced the challenges of the outside world, hostile creatures, dwindling supplies, and the ever-present threat of the society's agents who hunted them. But they also discovered the beauty of the world they had been denied, the vibrant colors of a sunset, the sound of wind rustling through trees, and the warmth of a campfire under a starlit sky. These were the moments that made their journey worthwhile, and they clung to them with unwavering determination. As they reached the outskirts of another settlement, Amalinx and Janison knew that their quest for freedom was far from over. But they also knew that they had come too far to turn back now. With the memory of the journal as their guide and the spirit of defiance burning within them, they set out to find a community that valued individuality and choice. They were no longer content to be mere cogs in the machinery of society. They were determined to be the architects of their own futures. In their daring escape from the residential zone, Amalinx and Janison had discovered a world of limitless possibilities. They had broken free from the suffocating grip of conformity and found a new purpose, to carve out a life where their choices were their own, where they could be happy and truly alive in a world that had forgotten the meaning of freedom.